Give me your children. <laughs> <laughs> Hey folks, this is your friend, Vincent E. Brown, black by color only. I uh, wanted to talk about a video that I saw uh, on YouTube. A friend of mine sent it to me on Facebook, and um, it's very disturbing what uh, I see on this video. And it's not talking about this. Uh, I'm, I'm not disturbed by the subject that this person is talking about, but in the manner that he goes about it. Now, you all know me, I am totally against evolution. It's uh, not based on scientific fact. Uh, I don't care how many textbooks and scientists and whatever speak for it and everything. I don't care about your carbon-14 uh, uh, dating and all that crazy mess and radio uh, radiometry or whatever y'all be saying and everything. And um, I just don't uh, believe in evolution. And basically, evolution is uh, something that people who don't believe in God want to believe in because they don't want to believe in God. They don't want to believe in a higher power. They don't want to be accountable to a higher being, but they want to hold on to the religion of secular humanism, which says that man is the is is the center. Man's the center, and he's the highest form of all things. And uh, all the rules that we have, you know, the right and wrong and everything, it, you know, it comes from man. Man can, you know, creates the rules and stuff like that, you know, and we're not accountable to no higher God. But that's basically, you know, evolution is the basis for that. You know, you got monkey origins, you get monkey rules. But anyway, there's this guy, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you all are familiar with him. He calls himself the science guy, a guy named Bill Nye. And uh, not too long ago, he used to have a Saturday morning program and he would talk about science or whatever he called science and everything stuff like that and you know i watched it it was kind of entertaining you know the guy got a good sense of humor and everything but when it comes to evolution you know evolution is not based on scientific fact and i just saw a video of his that was very disturbing you know and if i don't care if you believe in evolution or not if you see this video and you're not disturbed by it you know something's wrong with you but uh anyway I just wanted to uh, <clears throat> read, uh, they got a transcript to the video. And uh, those of you all who want to see the video for yourselves, I'm going to have the, uh, I'm going to have the link up for it so you can go and see it for yourself. But anyway, right here, uh, he says, evolution is the fundamental idea in all of life science and all of biology, you know, uh, all that crazy mess. But, uh, he says here, denial of evolution is unique to the United States, you know, whatever. Uh, but he, he says something here. He says, when you have a portion of the population that doesn't believe in that, it holds everybody back, really. Uh, how, how is it holding people back because they don't believe in evolution? You know, I mean, in other words, you got to get on with the program. You got to believe you got to uh, get with the collective and everything. And you got to believe like everybody else does, you know, uh, let me go on further. He said, uh, you're just not going to get the right answer. Your whole world is just going to be a mystery instead of an exciting place. Uh, the only thing I get from evolution is confusion. No, you know, these guys, they talk like, you know, uh, this happened five million years ago and all this and everything and stuff like that. They don't know when this stuff happened. You know, it's a bunch of confusion. And they themselves, you know, they, they say it may have happened this way or could have happened this way or perhaps it happened this way. So it sounds like they're not even sure of their own theory, but they want to push it as scientific fact, like it's settled science or something, which it really isn't. And let's see, let me go on. He says, as my old professor, Carl Sagan, you know, there's a hint right there. But uh, let me just go on because he says something that is very very disturbing here he says and i say to the grown-ups if you want to deny evolution and live in your world in your world that's completely inconsistent with everything we observe in the universe that's fine but don't make your kids do it because we need them we need scientifically literate voters and taxpayers in the future 
sounds like a liberal uh, we need people that can we need engineers that can build stuff solve problems uh, can someone answer this for me what does evolution have to do with me building a building or solving a math problem I mean come on please but the thing that disturbs me is he says we need your kids and that's why I did the little parody you know before the introduction you know we want your children and this is how it is with them you know and basically what they're saying is you parents are stupid people but we the teachers we know what's best we're smarter than you are so when you give your kids to us we got to get all that God and uh, uh, founding fathers and morality and principles and all that out of them and we got to brainwash them to think like we do because these are the people that we want running the country not because uh, if you believe in evolution, you're going to be a better leader. Nah, they want you to join the collective, basically. You know, you ever see that uh, that uh, that that TV show, uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation, and that and that race called the Borg. They say we are the Borg. You will be assimilated. Well, that's basically what they're they're trying to do: brainwash you instead of allowing you to be a free thinker and uh, have freedom of thought and come to your own conclusions. But anyway, and this is another uh, disturbing thing they, uh, that he said, too. He said, it's just really, it's just really a hard thing. It's really a hard thing. You know, in another couple of centuries, that worldview, I'm sure, will be, it just won't exist. That sounds like somebody's going to do an awful lot of brainwashing, you know. Uh, basically they're gonna take away freedom of thought and freedom of speech that's basically what it sounds like and some people might have to die for that we gotta weed all you God believers out of here we gotta weed all you all you evolution deniers out of here that's basically what they're saying you know in a couple of centuries you know they're not gonna think like that you know but if you let people be you know I don't care how long it is you know people are going to believe in God why because there is a God you know um, God created this world and he's not gonna let people kick him out of the world you're not gonna kick God out of the world and you can believe your evolution and all your crazy mess all you want to and you can say it's uh, backed up by science and everything but but don't tell me that I'm supposed to believe it because I'm holding you back or something like that but I, that, that's just what I'm saying. And uh, Bill Nye, let, hear me straight. You ain't no science guy. I'm Vincent E. Brown. I'm signing off. And until the next time, I'll see you on The Rebound.